Welcome to My Dream Home with Jody Hinkle. On My Dream Home, we'll help you find your dream home or turn your house into the home of your dreams. Learn about the properties, products, and services that will make that dream a reality. Brought to you in part by Railyard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. And Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Welcome to 1001 East 17th Street, Tucson, Arizona, 85719. This beautiful loft with guest house near downtown is one of a kind. This ice house loft has over $70,000 in recent upgrades and has been remodeled and restyled in keeping with the feel of the industrial design while adding luxury and comfort to the home. The kitchen has upgraded appliances, fixtures, and rare blue-eye granite countertops. Baths have even been upgraded with custom stainless steel toilets, basins, fixtures, and a glass wall shower. Engineered hardwood floors have been installed completely through the main level. A modern one-blade ceiling fan adds an elegant touch to the large living space with soaring ceilings and unfinished exposed concrete and masonry walls. One large glass wall with oversized sliders leads to a private courtyard and guest lawn. The private courtyard offers a great area for outdoor living, entertaining, and relaxation. Due to the placement of the unit, there is a unique side entry which allows for access without going through the home. This is great for artists and guests using the studio. The studio guest loft workshop office which shares the private courtyard also has oversized sliders which open to a steel beam studio with steel corrugated sliding doors, a custom steel staircase, a kitchenette, three-quarter bath, closet, and an approximate 12 by 15 foot mini loft bedroom. This unique property is perfect for anyone who needs to expand their artistic vision with an amazing large blank canvas. For more information on this amazing property, call Tony Ray Baker at 520-631-8669. To see more videos, articles, photos, and to get more information online, go to ctucsonlofts.com. It's my pleasure to welcome to the show Harvey Bernstein from American Shows. Thank you very much for being on the show. Pleasure being here. Now, you guys have a great event coming up. Can you tell the folks at home more about it? Well, it's the 20th annual Arizona State Home Show. It's going to be taking place at the Tucson Convention Center on January 8th, 9th, and 10th. Excellent. Now, you guys have been doing this, like you said, for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Now, what can people expect when they come to the show like this? You'll find anything you can imagine for your home. Everything from doors, windows, uh, spas, swimming pools, down to pots and pans. Uh, if it's in your house, you'll find a place to get it at the home show. Definitely. And having that many vendors in one place, you really get to see so many different areas that can help beautify your home. Exactly. And it's a great opportunity to meet with contractors, talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, uh, get a feel for them before having them out for an estimate. Excellent. Now, you guys have a lot of stuff going on as far as uh, different people talking. I know that uh, Jennifer Phelps, Miss Fixit, is going to be there. She's been on the show before. And, and you guys have some great giveaways, too. We do. Um, Arizona Luxury Lawns is giving away a backyard makeover. It's a $7,500 backyard makeover. It's a great event. Uh, Jennifer, as you said, is going to be there for three days. Uh, we've had her uh, at the show before. And for the kids, we've got the Reed Park Zoo. They're going to be bringing some of their animals over for three days. Now, that sounds like a lot of fun. So you get to see the, the animals up close and personal, and I'm sure the kids love that. Oh, they do. We had them at the last show, and it went over really great. So people that are interested in coming to the event, what's admission and tickets? How does that work? Okay, well, the admission is $8. Um, the parking is going to be free. Now, seniors are buy one, get one free all day on Friday. And the children 16 and under are free all weekend. Uh, the show hours are 12 to 6 on Friday, uh, 10 to 6 on Saturday, and 10 to 4 on Sunday. Excellent. So for the folks at home that want to find out more about the event, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, they can go to our website, which is www.americanshowsinc.com. And uh, there's also some discount admission coupons on the website. Or you can call us at 800-690-1993. Excellent. Well, thanks for being on the show, Harvey. Thanks for having me. Happy to welcome to the show Art Leone from Arizona Luxury Lawns and Greens. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Tell us about your company. Well, Arizona Luxury Lawns and Greens, we specialize in artificial turf and putting greens, field applications, residential or commercial. Uh, we've been in Tucson for three years now and been in the state for 10. Um, that being said, we only sell Made in America products and we're very proud of the work we've brought to Tucson. I've seen your work and it's great. And one of the things I really enjoy about your products is it, it would save me money on 
utilities, you know, my water bill is outrageous right. and it looks green year round. That's right. That's right. So there's obviously the huge savings there. The average return on investment for a customer takes no more than three to four years. And then that's not counting the maintenance, the countless hours of watering and mowing the lawn. So you're obviously going to save a lot of money, save a lot of time out there and just enjoy your lawn as you're supposed to. And that's huge. I mean, especially nowadays, we're all so conscious about being green, you know, saving on resources. And one of the biggest green savings is our financial side, right? We're not spending right. that money. Right. So, I mean, we have to look at the financial side. We also have to look at what's happening in the environment. We're obviously in a drought in the Southwest here in Tucson. We need to conserve our water. There's better places that we can have that water used, such as drinking, other than putting it on our lawn. Now, for the folks that, you know, want to talk to you, What's the best way for them to do that? The best way to do that is just contact me either by phone or over the web. You can reach me at 520-350-6125 or they can reach us at azluxurylawnstucson.com and fill out a quick uh, questionnaire there as far as what they're looking for and then I'll be sure to get back to them right away. Excellent. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. My Dream Home is brought to you by Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Hi, I'm Isaac Corner, and I'm with Patio Pools and Spas. I'm their sales consultant. I've been with Patio for um, a year, and I've been in the industry for over 20. Patio Pools has been in Tucson for about 46 years. Uh, we're one of the largest pool and spa uh, manufacturers and retailers in the uh, Tucson area. Well, it's near the end of the year, and the, we have the best savings at the end of the year for floor models and promotions, but also it's a great time of the year to use it. Uh, family visiting, you can spend more intimate time with people, uh, get more therapy uses, the temperature allows for longer t time frame of uh, usage in the product. Well, recently we just changed to a marquee, which is uh, one of the leading spa manufacturers in the industry. They're one of the top three companies to uh, produce and carry uh, um, hot tubs. Uh, one of their unique advantages is their um, hot point uh, therapy. Hot point therapy is uh, specific jets located in therapy zones that provide maximum therapy for the consumer uh, while they're in the product with maximum control. Uh, also they have a unique silk system that actually helps to rejuvenate the, the skin and help rejuvenate the, the body. It's actually very easy to maintain a hot tub. In uh, actuality the marquee spas have an inline sanitizing system that allows you to uh, have almost no maintenance in the product. You put a, um, a mineral cartridge in there with a sanitizing cartridge it automatically will will emit the chemicals and, and the mineral system for you. Marquee spas are very comfortable. Um, they have unique interior concepts that allow the body to sit comfortably within the seating, uh, less buoyancy effects so you don't float out of the seating. Uh, jets are placed in uh, exact areas needed for hydrotherapy and hydromassage for, for the majority of the most customers. There's also tier seating allows for different size people to utilize the same product and have the same comfort. Marquee actually uh, offers a large uh, range of different uh, product sizes and shapes, uh, depths <coughs> for interior, different heights, different customer um, sizes, um, also different price points to allowing any consumer to fulfill their vision in their backyard. Uh, the best way to, for any consumer to find out about hot tubs or spas is to c actually come down to their showrooms or actually go visit our website so that they can see what models that we have to offer. Um, it's better to actually be able to sit in them, see how the design fits their body, s see the size of the product to s fit their areas. Um, so I would highly recommend visiting one of our local showrooms. I'm excited to be out on location at Rebath with the owner, Lisa Walling. Thank you very much for being on the show. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having us, Jody. I love Rebath. Tell the folks at home more about Rebath. Well, Rebath is a full bathroom remodeling company. We can do anything from a shower, a bathtub, flooring, a cabinetry, you name it. One of the things I like is we have a great elderly population here. You have great options for them as well. We do. We do a lot of tub to shower conversions actually. And we also have a walk-in tub and have one in our showroom that people can test out if they'd like. Um, it just allows the um, person that wants to stay in their home a little bit longer the freedom to do that. And it's a great option. One of the things I also love about your company is you don't use subcontractors. When somebody comes out representing Rebath, they're your employees. That is correct. Um, we like to have control of who goes into our customer's home and we are able to do that by hiring all of our own employees that do the work for um, our customers. And not only do you know that your customers are going to be safe, but you know that the work that's being done on their home 
is going to be up to your standards because you definitely stand behind your product. Absolutely, and it also allows us to be more efficient um, because we have our own employees and they're doing so many bathrooms, that's all they do. They are going to be able to get in and get out in a very short amount of time. Definitely. Now you guys have a great promotion going on in January. Can you tell us more about that? We do have a great offer. Um, we have offers every month. They do change. Um, January is $350 off a complete tub or shower remodel. It's not to be combined with any other offer. However, um, it is for the entire month and it expires January 31st. How can our audience take advantage of that great offer and find out more about Rebath? Well, they can go to our website, which is TucsonBathroomRemodel.com, or they can call us at 520-322-0120, um, or they can even stop by our showroom, which is um, just off of Speedway in Alvernon. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. You're very welcome, and thanks again for having us, Jody. I'm very happy to welcome to the show Katherine Kent the president of the Solar Store. Thank you very much for being on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure, thank you. I have heard so many amazing things about you and your company. You're so knowledgeable and you guys are so innovative when it comes to solar. Tell us more about the Solar Store. Well, the Solar Store was started in 1998. It was a dream of my father's, John Wesley Miller, and he brought together some solar advocates and uh, we actually opened up the store in uh, the spring of 1998. Interesting. Back before there was what we know as the solar industry. So you've seen a lot of transformations within the industry from technology to rebates to the, really the thought behind solar. What's that experience been like on that journey? Well, we kind of liken it to riding a roller coaster and not really having any idea where it's going to stop. I mean, the highs with the uh, utility rebates, uh, the, the incentives when they were, you know, up as high as $4 a watt. Um, you know, the, uh, the federal tax credits that have come and gone and come and gone and come back again. And so, you know, not really sure. And it's, um, you know, I went to, to Eller and got an MBA in hopes that I could help manage and figure out what to do. But then I realized when you're in an industry that has so much governmental uh, intervention with tax credits and stuff, it's just hard to predict what's going to happen. Definitely. But the good news is for the consumer, the prices are significantly less than when the, the grid tie system first started. Definitely is a huge incentive right now for folks to get involved with solar because environmentally it's huge, but also there is that cost savings that you're talking about. Well, it is one of the only investments that you can make in your home that you actually can expect to get the, your money back. Whether you stay in your home for the eight to 10 years to get the payback or whether you end up having to move and sell your home. Since the appraisers now know how to appraise the value of a solar installation, people are getting their money back if they have to move almost immediately. Now you guys are going to be out at the uh, American Home Show this weekend. Yes. So tell us about that. What are you guys going to be doing out there? Well, we will have our display and we'll have people out there. We'll be actually promoting a lot of our new installations. We do a lot of ground mounts, which is something that most solar installers don't do. Uh, that includes uh, carport, shade structures, um, you know, patio areas. And so there's a lot of interesting ways. If you have been told by a solar company that you don't have a good roof, there are uh, other options available for you. Now, Catherine, I know that you guys do solar panels, but you guys really do solar everything, right? Yeah, actually we are. Since we've been around since 1998, there was nothing, I mean, we had to do everything. So we did not only do the photovoltaic systems on grid, we do off grid lighting systems, um, uh, tubular skylights, tankless water heaters, solar pool heating, as well as solar hot water systems. So we can cover all of your solar expectations. So Catherine, for the folks at home that want to find out more about you guys before the show, okay. what's the best way for them to do that? Well, the best thing to do would be to check our website. That's www.solarstore.com or give us a call at 520-322-5180. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. I'm out at Southwest Furniture and Design with Monica Leva from Studio 1127. Thanks for being on the show. Hi, thank you for having me. Yes, I love your store. I always find something interesting in here and something that creates some great ideas for design. Right. Now, I know you do several different things from interior design to these incredible window coverings. Tell me about them. 
That's right, Design Studio 1127 was born out of um, necessity to have my own schedule, my own, you know, work um, where I can profess my passion, which is, you know, design remodeling. And um, on the side, I also do uh, window treatments. And that is one of the services that we provide. Uh, it doesn't matter how big, how small, there is always a solution for heat, temperature, um, sun control, you name it. So you really start with those ideas in mind, you know, what uh, a family may be dealing with, and then you bring the design aesthetic into it to add to their overall look. Right. Um, to me, it's very important that the client is always happy and that we can work with whatever they have already existing in the house. So I somehow I just make it all work by adding new things or, you know, um, changing a little bit, but not too much. Always keeping the client's personal aesthetic in mind. So tell us about these uh, specifically. I see that you know, definitely beautiful, but they'd have some great uh, tassels on the side. Right. These are very simple uh, drapery panels. These um, are lined just to give uh, the fabric some body and weight, but these are not particularly made for uh, sun control. These are just uh, to still have some light filtering, and then you can embellish them with some uh, tassels you know, a very simple cotton fabric can have a little bit of a detail. And these I actually found at a floral shop. And, um, you know, we just use them as tiebacks. Yeah, you, you really find objects everywhere and you find a way to uh, implement them into your design. Right, right. And those came about because a lot of people here in Tucson don't like the formal tassel look. Right. So those bring it down and they bring them home here, especially for us. So if people want to see your work up close and personal, they can come out to Southwest Furniture and Design and see it that way. But they can also find you in other ways, right? The internet and things like that? Correct. I have advertised in the Tucson Lifestyle and my website is www.studio1127.com. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being thank on the you. show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Very excited to welcome to the show Shelby Hawkins, owner of Five Star Pest Control. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Now, right now, I know at my own house, with the weather getting cold and everything else, it's a good time for those critters to try to get in. We need to stay on top of that right now. Would you say that's true? Absolutely. They're just like us. They don't like cold weather. And so they'll move in where it's a little bit warmer. Definitely. You bet. Now, you guys are really good about treating the homes, the inside and the out, and also looking for little problem areas before they get too big, especially with termites. Exactly. One of the situations that people don't realize, because we live in the desert, we don't think that we have a moisture problem, but we really do. And just last week I did an inspection, this lady continued to get termites back. So rather than just looking at that particular area, I expanded the, the scope and I started looking around and see termites can enter a home 50 feet and then end up some other place. So from their point of entry to where they show up, it can be as much as 50 feet away. And so I started looking around and of, uh, out in the garage because that's a, that's a primary place to go, is right by the door, by the garage door, there's an expansion joint. And then you have your four by six uh, board or, or two by six board that holds up the garage door. And then you have your expansion joint there. And usually water will be drained towards that area. And sure enough, there was a tube right there. It was entering the house, going up the wall and then into a home in, into the beam. So by correcting that earth, to, that moisture problem, we can correct the situation. Of course, we have to treat, we have to put the chemical inside the wall. But in order for the chemical to continue to work, we have to correct that moisture problem. Definitely. Yes. Now, I know, especially uh, years ago, and I'm sure it's still the same way now, at one time, Tucson was the 
uh, hotbed for termites. We oh, had it still the most is. Oh. Anywhere in the United States. Anywhere. The Southern Arizona has the most colonies per acre of land than any other place in the, in the United States. I've gone to national conventions and other people have asked me from other parts of the country, well, how's the termite you know, um, business in Tucson? And I go, well, good, of course, you know, you put a piece of board on the ground or leave it there and they'll, eat, they'll start eating it in a few days. And they're like, really? And I go, yes, yeah, of course. And then also they'll eat cactus, live cactus and, and other small plants. But we've got a tremendous problem here. So Shelby, for the folks at home that want to find out more about Five Star Pest Control, what's the best way for them to do that? They can call area code 520-886-0045 or our website is 5 Star, the number 5 Star Termite and Pest Control .com. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank I learned you. so much. Great. My Dream Home is brought to you by RailYard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. Once again, I'd love to welcome to the show from Tierra Antigua Realty, Tony Ray Baker. Thank you for being on the show. Hi, Jody. Thanks for having me. Now, today we're talking about some very cool properties that you have, and they are bungalows, right? So tell us about bungalows, especially here in Tucson. Bungalows are a style of architecture and uh, we find them a lot more in the central areas of Tucson like Sam Hughes where these two properties you'll see are, are, are located and um, bungalows just have that old charm from the 1920s and up to the 50s area where they um, started changing into other type of ranch type, you know, style homes. A lot of bungalows keep that feel and that character uh, from that time period. Yeah, of course, it depends on the neighborhood. Sam Hughes is a great uh, representation of that, where the people who live there and own those homes have really kept the integrity of the neighborhood by keeping with the style of the bungalow, even adding additions to those homes and making them larger. They still really take great strides at keeping that beauty of that area. So the other things about Sam Hughes, I know that one of the things that stands out is the architecture and the true character of the area. Um, I know there's a lot of other things around it too, as well as entertainment, nightlife, restaurants, right? Yeah, it's right next to the uh, University of Arizona. It's close to the new light rail stop, so you can walk and ride the light rail to the Mercado downtown. Um, of course, you've got 4th Avenue and Main Gate shopping districts now. So Sam Hughes, I would assume, is even going to become more and more popular just because of location. Tell me about the first property. The first property is a 1927 bungalow. It was a little over 700 square feet originally. And a young couple bought it uh, just a few years ago and they started a remodel on it and it's an amazing remodel. Awesome. Well, let's show the folks at home this property. Great. Welcome to 2019 East 9th Street, Tucson, Arizona 85719. This is an ultra contemporary Sam Hughes bungalow with the original structure being built in 1927. This home offers a wood-burning fireplace, custom hand-bent rounded baseboards, an original full bath, and all electrical wiring and plumbing was updated throughout the home in 2004. In addition, in 2013 increased the living area, which includes 24-inch Brazilian slate floors, 4x10 foot sliding doors, a sleeping loft, a three-quarter bath, private 10x10 patio with 19th century carved gaze from India. The kitchen has butcher block counters, manganese saltillo floors, high-end appliances, and rock hardwood maple cabinets. Be amazed by the artist's custom glass shelving with suspension system and arched windows. For more information on this amazing property, call Tony Ray Baker at 520-631-8669. To see more videos, articles, photos, and to get more information online, go to c2sonhomes.com. I absolutely love that property. It's got a lot of character and it definitely you can see in the remodel they really stayed true to the original you know design they did i'll tell you what one of my favorite features is they actually had the um, base molding scribed by a carpenter on the new addition and then they had it steam bent to wrap around the walls so it's rounded that's it's awesome beautiful beautiful craftsmanship and I'm, I'm sure there's a you know it's even better in person right yeah you have to see it so what's the next property we're going to look at the next one is just a few streets over and it actually um, was a 1958 bungalow 
a two bedroom, one bath at the time, and it has been uh, nicely remodeled. And it has an addition from a well-known architect in town. And the really cool thing is that you can't tell that the addition is there. So when you look at it from the front, there's a two-story loft in the back that you cannot see. That's really cool because it gives us that living area that we need without changing the overall architectural look. People staying consistent and making the neighborhood look the same as far as keeping that integrity. So Tony, let's uh, show the folks at home this wonderful property. Welcome to 2140 East 7th Street, Tucson, Arizona 85719. This beautiful Sam Hughes home has been lovingly maintained to preserve its original charm while the updated sections offer modern convenience. The original section has mahogany woodwork and charming original features. The kitchen counters are granite and the cabinetry offers tons of storage options. The master suite has two closets, one that is walk-in which leads to the charming master bath. Charming and surprising is the only way to describe the addition created by architect Steve Bonn, which keeps with the home styling and offers a family room with a true loft bedroom. An office slash den slash possible fourth bedroom or guest suite has a small closet and its own entrance. An amazing and unique skylight is a beautiful feature of this room and the wood floors were refinished July of 2015. For more information on this amazing property, call Tony Ray Baker at 520-631-8669. To see more videos, articles, photos, and to get more information online, go to ctucsonhomes.com. So one of the things that I really love about your company specifically and what you do is you have these fabulous homes that are different. You know, it's not like the cookie cutter that you're going to see on every single corner. You have bungalows, you have lofts, you have great things that are unique to certain areas of Tucson. And that's got to be fun for you. It's very fun, yeah. We've been selling real estate for 21 years, so it's always great to see the beauty of the eclectic and the new and people making changes. And so we, it is fun for us. You know, the thing that I also find interesting is you love these older homes and you love these unique spaces but you are so up to date when it comes to social media, when it comes to internet marketing, you really find a way to get the most exposure for your clients and these unique homes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, um, I am a geek techie at heart and a photographer as well. So for me, being able to get professional photography and move it into advertising and marketing was just, um, it was a natural component for me in real estate. So we do, we, we go after, we build mobile websites, full websites for every property, and then we go after full social network. Um, we use Google and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube video and everything you can imagine, we're using it out there to give our clients as much exposure as we possibly can as quickly as possible. So for the folks at home that want to get the most exposure for their unique properties and have you help them sell them because you know, for a number of years, you've been one of the top agents year after year here in Tucson. What's the best way for them to do that? You can call me at 520-631-8669 or check out my website at ctucsonhomes.com where you'll see these properties and all the others in MLS. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I always love your properties and always enjoy you being here. I always learn something new. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, if you missed any part of today's show, or you just want to watch it again, go to MyDreamHomeTV.com. I'm Jody Hinkle, and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday at 8 a.m. right here on ABC KGUN 9.